how you can scan for trades. And oftentimes I find when I coach people that scanning for trades seems to be a lot harder than it really is. And so hopefully I can demystify that today and show you in less than 10 minutes how we scan for trades. Now what you're really looking for when scanning for trades is just unique opportunities and what I call the low hanging fruit. And so what that means is we're looking for stocks that have either made a big jump in implied volatility or a big drop in implied volatility. So something that's out of the norm or a big percentage move up or a big percentage move down on the day. Again, something that's out of the norm and kind of stands out as kind of low hanging fruit that would gleam some sort of insight into maybe taking a directional stance on that stock going forward. So one of the first things that I do, and you can see here on my charts, even though you can't see our watch list because we have it available inside the membership area to purchase, you can see over here that I have ranked all of the stocks in my watch list right now that are moving based on the highest percentage move to the lowest percentage move. So you can see everything that's kind of moving the biggest percentage mover today is right here, and then the lowest percentage movers today or the biggest downward movers are down at the bottom. And the reason I do this just to start is because I want to see what's moving. So what has had a huge move up or a huge move down that may warrant a trade? So one of the ones that we look at if we, again, kind of sort this by biggest move down is that this stock today has had a 6% move down. And if we actually look over at the charts, this is actually a look at Tesla. So Tesla's had about a 6% drop today, pretty good drop in, its, in a move down. And that really leads us to believe that maybe there's a trading opportunity here because of the drop lower. And you can see that it's gapped lower and dropped lower. Implied volatility is starting to spike. Okay, so maybe we might have some sort of trading opportunity there. The next lowest one down is going to be uh, PBR. So this is another one that has had a really big move down today. It's the next biggest percentage move down. But you can see after we start looking at the chart here, it's not really kind of a standout. There's no you know low hanging fruit. It hasn't gapped lower dramatically. It hasn't you know popped up dramatically. But implied volatility is starting to steadily rise, and we start to see that. MACD is continuing to move higher. So, okay, maybe there's some sort of opportunity there as well. So that's one thing we look for is we definitely look for those stocks that have made big moves. That's an easy way to find new things to trade. If it's something kind of in the middle of the range here, like this stock, for example, it's down about a half a percent today. This is Netflix. Not really that big of a move for us to really, you know, go after. It's not we can trade this stock, but that doesn't mean that we should trade it because it's not doing anything major today. It's just kind of trading in the same old range that it's been in. And you can see with Netflix, even though it's down on the day, it's just kind of trading in the same range that it's been in. Implied volatility is high, but it's heading into earnings. So uh, there's nothing really to gleam out of that. You can just go ahead and skip over it. The other thing that we like to do is sort our list by high implied volatility stocks. So Stocks that are new stocks to the list that have recent high implied volatility, we might want to take a look at. So since we look at this list every single day, we know that we've got lots of stocks right now that are over that 50th percentile that we like to see. But if there's, for example, some stocks that just made it onto the list today or the other day and have moved from, say, the low 40s up into the low 50s in implied volatility rank, that might give us, again, another indication of something that is now tradable that wasn't tradable before. So for example, this stock right here is FXI and it just moved up to a 52 implied volatility. And so you can see implied volatility actually was higher than 52, but it's now still start to be 52. And so we can look at this chart and say, you know what, maybe FXI is, is another trading opportunity before it dips under 50, right? So if it was higher before, before and now it's starting to come back down lower, Maybe this is an opportunity where we can trade implied volatility before it really makes a big dip down uh, below the 50th percentile. So, you know, that's the kind of stuff that we're looking for. We're looking for the low hanging fruit, things that are moving up. I know that today SPY uh, was another trade, and you can see SPY is right here on our watch list to the left. It has 69% implied volatility, but just the other day it was down in the 40s and 30s. So you start to see that implied volatility is rising in SPI or SPY, and as a result, we have orders that we're trying to get into the market to trade this security because implied volatility is starting to rise and it's now in the 70th percentile. So very high implied volatility leads us to believe that there's an opportunity here to trade something in it. 
So that's really how we start to look for and scan for trades. There's other ways that you can scan for trades with technical analysis by going through and using the scan tab inside Thinkorswim. There's a really cool way that you can study filter things by um, different indicators. So for example, if you wanted to look up and pull up all stocks uh, that had, and if I just add that study indicator, had a MACD crossover that was from negative to positive. Then you could do that on this inside Thinkorswim. So it's a really cool tool to use because you can study filter all of these stocks and look specifically for stocks that have a MACD histogram crossover that went from negative to positive based on some set of inputs. So if we just, again, use this one here, we can go ahead and click scan. And that will pull up all the stocks with options that are tradable that we can do that have a MACD crossover from a low point to a high point. And you can see the first one on the list here is USO. This is pretty interesting, or the only one on the list, which is pretty cool because now it's narrowed it down even more. So, all right, so I truly hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And like I said, if you have any comments or questions, please ask them right below on the lesson page. The key here with scanning for trades is that you don't go through analysis paralysis. Have some set of defined filters or studies that you want to look for or types of trading setups that you're looking for and look for those quickly in the morning through your short liquid watch list anyway. And if there's something to trade, make a trade on it. If there's not, then don't force it. So you'd rather spend your time actually trading options and generating income instead of reading boring research reports or company earnings announcements, right? We get that. In today's incredibly fast moving market, stocks and options are being traded at the speed of lightning. And most investors suffer from the misconception that to be successful, you have to be working at one of those large hedge funds or trading firms on Wall Street. You see, most traders actually don't have a clue what separates a small profitable trade from just a shot in the dark. So people often spend time combing the internet for the next hot stock or the next new investment strategy. Not to mention the fact that most traders have not yet established a strong enough understanding of how the markets really work or why one option strategy might work better in today's market versus another. The truth is that to make options work for you, it doesn't take an MBA from an Ivy League college, super fast computers, or even millions of dollars in the bank. Trading with stock options is one of the most powerful ways to generate consistent monthly income, if you learn how to do it right. Until now, the problem is that you just haven't been given the right tools in the right place to make smarter decisions. That's why we created Option Alpha, an online training and coaching platform. And when it comes to learning how to trade options, less is actually more. We've cut out all the junk that distracts you from understanding the key areas you need to be successful. We don't waste your time teaching you crazy mathematical formulas or complicated exotic strategies because none of that actually helps you earn more money. So here's how we can help. First, you'll get access to our top rated and professionally designed platform with more than 150 hours of tutorials covering everything from the basics, different strategies, correctly pricing trades, entries and exits, earnings, trades, and so much more. We'll also send you daily trading alerts via email and text so you can follow along and learn by watching over our shoulder. And if that wasn't enough, Every night we post a video detailing all of the trades that we made that day so you know the reason behind the trade versus just seeing it come across. And yes, we are the only company that shows you every trade, even ones that don't go our way. Plus, you'll get access to our ultimate strategy guide that helps you select the right option strategy for any market. Clean, powerful streaming charts right inside the platform to help you analyze any stock or ETF and a huge growing community of other like-minded traders to share ideas and tips with. So what are you waiting for? Click the button below and get started today. It's time you learned how to make smarter trades.